Tonight we're going to make a Cajun chicken pot pie. So let's get started. First we have several ingredients. I have a package pie shell where there's two pie shells in here. I get the deep dish. Um, I have, we're going to make a roux of course, this is a Cajun dish. I have two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of flour. We have some Cajun grilled chicken breast. It's the full breast. A package of mixed uh, vegetables and some water to cook that in and two cups of milk. We're going to make a white sauce and I have a little white pepper I'm going to use in the white sauce. So this is really simple and really quick to put together. So let's get started on that. Got my butter bubbly and hot here. So I'm going to toss in some flour. Mix it up good. And when you're making a roux you want to be sure to keep stirring. You don't want it to um, get scorched or burn. Do this. What do you think about chicken pot pie, Mike? Well, I thought it was a thing of my past. I was blessed to never have to eat again. We Until, always had frozen dinners, didn't we? Yeah, I grew up with frozen Morton's frozen turkey pot pies. Well, honey, this is not frozen, so... No, when you first made this, I thought, good Lord, this ain't the same thing Mama used to serve us. <laughs> well, now I'm going to add the two cups of milk. Just slowly add in your milk. This is just a simple white sauce. Just keep stirring. I'm going to bring this to a boil and just kind of keep stirring continuously for um, about 8 to 10 minutes. It's going to thicken up almost to a thick soup consistency. And then I'll add a little white pepper. Okay, we have a beautiful white sauce going here. It's getting thick, so I got out my whisk just to keep it moving. And I'm going to add a dash of white pepper. This is a really delicate pepper. We don't really want a hot taste, we just want some flavor to this white sauce. Just a little more. And I'm going to turn off the fire because this is ready. And I can smell the pepper coming up in the sauce. And this is optional, but I'm going to add a little bit of extra sharp cheddar cheese. This is about six ounces, not even a, a full cup. But we just like the flavor. Just mix that around. My vegetables are about done. I'm going to go ahead and turn those off too. And we're going to start putting this all together. Alright. Got our vegetables drained. I just drained them in a colander. I put them back in here. I put them in the sauce. So graciously um, help me cut up all this chicken. It's just in bite-sized pieces. Just toss it in. Mix this all together. And we're going to pour it in the pie shell. That look good enough to eat right now, Mike. My goodness, you could just pour that in a bowl. We don't need to bake it. I tell you, I really could just eat this. We didn't seem to do that one night. <laughs> Maybe over a baked potato, that would be a good idea. Oh, that would be a great baked potato topping. All right. Let's move over here to the pie shell. I'm going to empty that in there. Woo, that's some heavy stuff. But it's going to be so good. That's some groceries there. <laughs> that is a mixture of groceries there. I'm going to see if there's some good groceries in a little while. Now just put it in here. You want to be sure and get the deep dish pie shell, of course. Because you can see this is a lot of good groceries in here. We had a friend who would say that and it just cracks me up every time. 
So on your second pie shell, we don't need the um, edge. So I just take a sharp knife and run my knife around here and just cut that off. It's really quick. And these pie shells came frozen, so I let them defrost all day in the refrigerator so they'd be easy to work with. Just pull it off. Now, the trick is to peel this off and get it positioned. There we go. Get it positioned on top. Just kind of do it like this. And now I need a knife a fork. You may need a little water, but you just want to press the two pie shells together. Just like this. So I just cut a, about three slits up here at the top with a knife. Alright, I'm ready to put it in the oven. So I've got a preheated 400 degree oven. I have this extra pan that is hot barrel. And I want to line it because if this overflows, it makes a mess with a capital M. So just place your pie on there and the foil help get the mess. So we're going to bake this for 50 minutes, but first I have another little trick. For the first 30 minutes, I'm going to bake it with the other pie shell on top. And this prevents the crust and the top from burning. So we're going to do that. After 30 minutes, I'm going to take that top shell off and then continue baking for the full 50 minutes. We're live. We're live here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. <laughs> it's a damn shame. <laughs> oh my lord. That's Mike Stokes or something. Isn't this a beautiful chicken pot pie? It <laughs> is. It's a damn shame. <laughs> I got to cut into it. <laughs> that you have to cut into it. <laughs> Y'all only knew what I go through over here. It's a damn shame what this good woman <laughs> has to go through over here to take care of us here in Cajun country. Oh, Lord. Well, I'm going to lift this out because I am ready to eat. Woo-hoo. Who look at that, people? Mm-hmm. I'm going to get the rest of that. Glory be. I'm about ready to eat, Mike. How about you? I am too, and it'd be a damn shame to let this go to waste. As I try and keep my composure, <laughs> thank you for joining us on Cajun Cooking TV. We had Cajun Chicken Pot Pie, and we'll see you next time.